and also, I was a caged animal last night. I had to come out! <laughs> Can I ask well, you know No, no, oh, but let me ask you. Let me ask something. Okay. Hold on, oh, go ahead. Hold on, okay. hold, okay. hold on one second. I, I just wanted all, to. Ma'am, hold on. First of all, uh, I don't think a lot of you are aware of this. Do you guys know who this is? Do any women in the comments know who this is? I've never seen her. I still, I still don't know so, who that is. Okay, I bet you nobody knows who this woman is. This is the real woman that was actually hit with a brick that Rhoda stole her story. Oh, well. Rhoda stole this woman's story. She's a South African woman. She stole her story. Let me show you what happened when you actually get hit with a brick. This is what happened to this woman. Jesus. She lost her eye. Mm hmm Wow, that's crazy. Do you see the difference between her and what Rhoda is showing at the top? Do you think that this woman right here that lost her eye was screaming, these ninjas didn't do nothing? These nin do you think she was standing up screaming that? No, she was probably this? knocked out on the floor asleep. Thank you. Thank you. So this just goes oh to God. show. Thank you. Exactly. Facts. This just goes to show BW's logic and mindset and how emotional and ridiculous y'all are. Y'all don't care. Y'all just want something to fit y'all's narrative. Oh my God. You don't care if the story makes sense. You don't question nothing. And I'm telling all men, stay away from these things. They don't mean you no good. They don't care to understand. They don't care to use logic, nothing. No reasoning, nothing. All they care about is finding a narrative to fit the bitterness that they have within them. Guru, are you Muslim? They don't, I'm speaking. They don't like you. They don't even like themselves. See, here we go right now. I'm not so good. There, she's trying to deflect and change the conversation because she don't I'm, want me to. I just this. Want, really they hope that you're not Muslim. I'm, so I'm just trying to make sure that you're not. Goodbye. Yeah. They don't even like themselves. They can't stand themselves, but then they will say that we don't like them. No, y'all don't like yourselves. Y'all don't. Y'all can't stand yourselves. Y'all do this all day and night because if y'all loved yourself, then y'all wouldn't do stuff like this. Soon as soon as this happened, they jumped behind this woman. All it took was her for her to say, "Look what they did! These ninjas didn't do nothing. These ninjas did nothing." That's all it took. A ninja hit me with a brick, and these other ninjas didn't do nothing. That's all it took. Why do you think Samantha BWs are still loving and beloved? Why do they love this woman so much? She's Somali. She's not even an American BW. Why do you think they love her and her story so much? And the fact that not only that, listen, I posted the update on some some of my other social media platforms. You should see what some of the BWs are writing in there. They're writing, um, and and not just but but particular the men that have. There's men that have stitched this video. The one the update that I made. And the BWs are writing on their con on their accounts. Oh my God, she so she can't step outside now. She got literally hit with a brick. Oh my God, she can't go out and have fun. These men is so jealous of us when we go out and have fun. And stop. One woman said, "Stop graping us. Stop unaliving us. Stop doing this to us." Why are they so obsessed and love this woman and her story so much, even though she's not an American BW? That's my question. Um, from what I've seen and heard and, and all the different conversations, I, I, would, I think, in my opinion, that uh, she is somebody that they can rally behind and 
at first, I thought it was, you know, because people just don't want to believe that, you know, she lied about getting hit with a brick. Like, how ridiculous would that be? And come to find out, like, I googled, like, the, a brick injury. Like, there's there's usually blood and things of that nature, and it looks like you got hit with a brick. And she did not. And so I'm like, well, that can't be it. And then when I heard more of the stories, it's like, oh, you know, black men, you know, don't do oh, BMs, don't defend us. You know, they they don't come rescue us. You know, they don't care about us. They're not, you know, insert all these explicits that I'm not going to say out loud because um, they're very, very rude and disrespectful. And and I think that it's. I wouldn't say like a mascot, but more like, yeah, like a mascot, just something they can, they can rally behind, like, see, this is why, you know, that I, I think it just reinforces what they already think about our black men. Mm. It reinforces their um, perceptions of, but here's the thing, though, here's the thing that's crazy, even though it reinforces that these are still some of the main men that they lay down with that they um puff with that they drink with these are some of the same men that they have so much intimate contact with but yet they'll say that they don't like them they're uh, unaliving they're great they're doing all of these things these are their cousins that, that they dap up you know what's crazy is that <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You will see their, let, let's say you have a family, right? And let's say he did something to his BW girlfriend. A, a, a dude in the family did something to the BW girlfriend, right? The BW girlfriend will get on social media and trash him and trash black men. His family, his women around him will want to fight her and sometimes they'll end up fighting and trash her online. But the narrative has already been put out there about black men. Again, see, what's interesting though, here, here's my point. What's interesting is the girlfriend who may have been done wrong by the boyfriend and then now, according to her, she's been done wrong by the boyfriend. I'm saying that's her perspective. And now his sisters and the women in his family then jumped on her she is not going to put out anything negative about bw's though i find that quite interesting i find that quite interesting she will say things like um he he had the h's and his family jump on me right and other bw's when they hear that they will still go for the man. They won't turn their attention to other BWs. They still will put it on him. Yeah, that's that's odd. And I, like I said, I, I think it, I think it reinforces a. Um, I'm not saying for everybody, but I think it reinforces a, a victim mentality. It reinforces you know, oh, they're not for us, you know, they're against us, I can't believe, you know, he's, you know, he's sick, like, his whole, like, all the females on his family, you know, to come get me, you know, you know, not minding the fact that it was a bunch of women that apparently jumped, I'm not familiar with the, with the young lady on the, on the right of the, uh, of the brick lady, um, you know, the right it's of the brick the lady. Same woman. Uh, These are the same oh, woman. Oh, it's the same woman? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Wow. Okay. Did y'all hear that? She didn't even know this was the same woman. Oh, my bad. This is her make. This is her new look after she got that forty plus thousand dollars in GoFundMe money. The one on the right. That's her new look. Oh, I thought it was somebody totally different. My bad. I didn't recognize her. Um. Oh, that's a... And you got BWs okay. in the comments talking about she looked good. I mean, she does look pretty, like, out, like, there's no, like, you know, her makeup's nice, like, you know, I, it's, it truly is a, a different look, and, um, but as far as, um, him sticking his family on her, uh, yeah, we're all surprised, yeah, um, 
I, I think that truly, I think that she played us all, and I say us because I believed it, because I'm like, I didn't want to believe that someone would lie about, about something so serious, and, you know, in my degree, like, they, they teach us to believe the victims, and so I believed her, and then my husband's like, she didn't get hit with a brick, I'm like, I'm like, you know, you're so insensitive, how could you, like, say such, say such a ridiculous thing, and then he's like, Google brick injuries, and tell me if it looks like she got hit with a brick, I'm like, oh, well, I got played, like, I got played, she fooled me, and, and I think she fooled a lot of us, and I think that people, like, BWs in particular, still cling to that, because it, it reinforces, like we said, a perception of, of our, of our black men that they already have. Yeah, I want to know why after all of this has happened, after she's been exposed, after the GoFundMe scam, after showing that this woman up here is now in the club, paying, bo popping bottles, paying for 304s, poll workers, um, she's laughing it off like this is a joke and she got a new, uh, you know, look. Why after all that are BW still backing her? Not even her own somali sisters back her that's my question tap okay. the screen for us uh, uh 200k likes fill up the heart bar go ahead well to answer your question um the first thing when i heard it and thank you for repeating it i can only think of pain everybody wants to relate their pain to something traumatic because that's the outlet for them and you were able to fight with somebody with a pain that's unrealistic but you want to hold on to it it's like a dirty coat and at what time we have to, it's unfortunate because I don't think uh, you're some. Saying, you're saying black women are in pain, so that's why they're no, backing her? No, I think it's the mindset. It's the mindset. Because as we know, a brick hitting you in the face is not, you're going to have some damage. That's the first clue. We are rather. What is the mindset of the women that make them like this? It's their own pain. You could, it's like a, it's like a, like a marshmallow, you know, you melt a marshmallow, they stick together is that mindset. It may not be real and it's delusional because if anyone knew how a brick hit somebody in the face, that looks nothing like that. So that's the delusion right there. That's key number one there. Delusional. But it don't matter because that's a pain to back somebody because you're empathetic because of the situation that you're in. It doesn't justify the means, but that's the only rational thought process I can come up with. Because there's no justification on why you would think somebody get hit in the face with a brick and look like that. Well, I, I think it's because they don't want to admit. I think there's a lot of women in our community that don't like the way their lives look and they don't like the way the community looks. Right. You got some women who have, you know, kids by men that never married them, multiple kids by multiple men. They've been through bad experiences. And rather than just admit and accountability is when you admit what you did to contribute to the situation you are in. Yes. That's when you have accountability and responsibility occurs when you agree to do something about it. I'm going to take responsibility for where I am at by doing these actions. That's how you enact responsibility. But we can't get accountability. So we can't get responsibility, which is which is integral to us taking a left turn in the community because the women have a very strong desire. They need us to be villains. So that's why you hear this narrative that black women get unalived every six hours by a black man. The math that they came up with for that was that about 1,780 black women are unalived by a, a, a year. And they said, well, black women date black men at a 90 of 6 percent rate. And because 96 percent of black women date black men and most unalivings happen between romantic partners, they made all of that to say, hey, black men are unaliving black women every six hours. But there is no study that says that at all. This is just math that they have conflated. Now, the truth of the matter is there's 22 million black women in America. What percentage of 20 of, of, of 22 million is 1780? It's point zero 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 eight seven nine four. That's what it is. So the odds of you getting unalived by a black man are, are, are lesser than you getting eaten by a fucking shark. But the, <laughs> but, but the women in the community are espousing that this is an epidemic. This is epidemic proportion because it, they need to vilify the black man. Mm -hmm. He has to be the worst thing in the world. Otherwise, they have to tell, hey, you know, the reason I was fucking some guy 
who's locked up and I have children by two different guys who have rap sheets. The reason that I, I, I've done these things is because there are no good black men available and all of them are trash and they're all lying and they're all tricking us. That's mm -hmm. a much easier narrative to accept than, you know, he had really good sex. It was exciting. I got pregnant, you know, and here I am. I was being irresponsible. I had low character. It, it makes sense now because, oh, sorry, Omega. No, you're good, sister. I just want to tell um, Brother Guru I'm about to, to drop, and I, but I did have one closing point to piggyback off what basically said. Sister Tanya, would, would you believe if I told you for the last 25 to 30 years, there's only been three years out of 25 to 30 where black women were victims of homicide over a raw number of a thousand? Meaning? Yeah, I would. Right. So the point of that is, to, to, to back up Brother Basically's point, this particular caveat of information where they talked about it being an epidemic, um, I've gone over the numbers. Um, I actually do stats in, in real life. Um, one of the caveats that they leave out is that it was a double-digit percentage increase in Black women unaliving other Black women. And you can also compare it to when you look at the domestic violence rate between black female lesbian relationships. Um, this is why we have to really read deep into things because mm -hmm. black men get the blame for everything. When in reality, when you read these things, you digest this information, you look at it, they leave out the concept that the reason why this one particular year which is the same year that homicide rose for all demographics and black women were still the last. So white men, white men went up, white women went up, black women went up, Hispanic people went up, everyone went up, but black women were still the last. That this particular year in this increase in percentage of this homicide epidemic, the real root of the percentage growth was the double digit percentage growth between black women unaliving other black women. Um, Brother Guru, thank you again for always having me. Brother, basically, Black Jesus, big bro, you know I appreciate you. Um, salute to your audience as always, and I hope you guys have a blessed evening. Have a good thank evening. You, thank you. And I wanted to say this one thing because he, somebody in the chat asked about it. The difference between educated black men and educated black women is 5%. Black women have 5% more degrees than black men. That's it. It's not 20 percent. It's not 15 percent. It's not 30 percent more. It's not twice as many. It is 5 percent. It is 5 percent. Please, anybody go and look it up. It is 5 percent. And, and the when the you... in, 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 in all communities, Asian, Arab, Indian, whatever, all the women always have more degrees than all the men. The women always do. OK, because women are more likely to work office jobs and men are more likely to work in the field. Skill <laughs> trades, building shit, construction, these types just of like things. Throw, they just like to throw that in the face. You know, you don't hear Hispanic women throwing that in the face of their men, that they have more degrees. They're, you know, they go get more office, whatever. They don't throw that in because they appreciate their working men, their physical labor men, their blue collar men. They love and appreciate those men. They do.